Hey folks, it's Ryan Adams here from naturalweightlossmastery.com. One of the comments and questions that I think I've had a couple of times lately is, Ryan, I'm loving my salads right now. They're really refreshing, I especially love them in the summer. The problem is I'm always hungry shortly after. They never quite hit the spot. I've got you folks, I've got the answer to this, I've got the solution. You need to bulk up those salads, my friends. You really, really do. So the overall calorie amount of the salad is just a little bit higher. With the typical salad, the great nutrients are there, the vitamins, minerals, and so on, but are the calories there to leave us feeling truly satisfied? I touched on this in a recent YouTube video, which I'll actually link down below. There is a difference, just as a refresher, between being full and being truly satiated. Fullness is very much a physical feeling of quite obviously fullness. Satiation, though, is true satisfaction, both physically and mentally. You get that signaling to the brain, you get the adequate amount of energy that your brain, or, or in layperson's terms, calories, that your brain thinks that you require. And that's a different feeling entirely, okay? It is a lot more mental, mental excuse me, as well as physical. So I think the answer for this, the answer for my clients anyway, is loaded salads. There's quite a few of my clients doing this right now. So they take their normal salad, of maybe the leafy greens, whether it's romaine, uh, whether it's iceberg, um, whether it's spinach, whether it's rocket, or a combination of the aforementioned. Cucumber, maybe some cherry tomatoes, bell pepper and so on I love in mine. Maybe some radishes, they're really great, especially for the gut as well, of course. Great thermic effect to radishes too as well. Um, but then, so they use that as a base, so they're not removing any of those things, but then, this is where the magic happens, they add one, or maybe in some cases two of the following options. Number one, either a grain, so some kind of whole grain, whether it's something like bulgur wheat or whole wheat couscous, they go well. I have known a couple of my clients to do, to quite like rice in salads, but it doesn't tend to go as well as uh, the likes of bulgur wheat, whole wheat couscous, quinoa, that's another good one. Uh, maybe a bean, such as chickpeas or mixed beans, they tend to work best. Again, red kidney beans, black beans, technically these things would go in a salad fine, nutritionally they would be fine, but taste-wise, I just imagine that things like chickpeas and, you know, those canned mixed beans, sometimes they're called um, bean salads as well, they definitely tend to go best in my experience in a salad taste-wise. Or even something like potatoes, white potatoes, uh, are my favourites to go in salads there uh, rather than sweet potatoes, but both would work as well. So that's what a lot of my clients do. They add one of those typical starchy staples to their salads to add a little bit, a little bit, excuse me, bulk, a little bit more bulk to add the calories there, and likely feel a bit more sustained as a result of that. They can still very much be in a calorie deficit, but it isn't quite so absurdly harsh. It's a lot more manageable, and uh, not forgetting that you could also add. Uh, extra calories with uh, maybe more fat-rich plant foods like some oil-free hummus, maybe some hemp seeds, some edamame, some tahini, as well as a nice dressing there. Bon appetito, pito polito, um, as, as my Italian friends might say. That's a really, really nice way to do things there. So bulk up those salads. Amazing, amazing weight loss meal. We already know that most salads are really good from a weight loss perspective but you can make them uh, even, even more of a, a, a staple, even more of a meal rather than just a little side dish by bulking up with those starchy staples. Really good idea. Give it a shot. Let me know how you get on. Thanks.